In most cases, you really don't have to worry about uh, the difference of storage type uh, between the big and little Indian, unless uh, you have a few uh, few issues such as um, you know debugging program or analyzing binary data stored in the file, uh, or debugging at this level, right? At this level, when uh, we observe the byte codes and we're trying to. Uh, verify if these co uh, if these byte codes are making sense in terms of what we're trying to do compare addresses with the uh, actual data in memory and so forth and so forth so we're doing this this level work right so then of course we have to understand the difference between the big indian and and and, and little indian and uh, tcp ip headers actually store integers in like i said in the big indian format and so this is a nice wikipedia illustration of uh, of this um, you know of the consequences here so uh, something that i talked about earlier uh, register uh, which is part of the cpu and memory where we have a low address and higher address and the way everything gets connected so it's kind of like mirror image but interesting that uh, one order and exactly the opposite order um, storage uh, ends up being um, utilized uh, in these two two types of storages of course we're talking about this issue because we're dealing with data allocation so data allocation uh, makes it possible to store multi-byte integers in memory so this becomes an issue that uh, has to surface uh, and we have to discuss it uh, so um, the 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 data allocation uh, directives let me stop this debugging session uh, can be used in place of these so these are older defined byte defined word define double word and so forth and these are newer byte word and d word uh, so these are i find these more descriptive and easier to uh, uh, to to deal with when you read the code okay so uh, it's possible to um, um, use um, use either a sequence of uh, values uh, to store uh, bytes for example in memory or you can use multiple uh, of the uh, data allocation directives like this or you can even combine characters because these are characters seems to be just to into a single quote or double quote uh, character literal like this and of course you'd recognize that on windows uh, 0d hexadecimal and 0a hexadecimal are the encodings of conventional windows a line ending uh, which is uh, uh, um, a carriage return and line feet or simply decimal 13 and decimal 10. okay so something that we call multi-byte definitions uh, uh, we could uh, declare a variable such as values is just a sequence of words right so this dw means a defined word so this is an equivalent of this directive so today I would not use DW, I prefer to use Word uh, version of, of this. And um, uh, it's possible to, instead of um, uh, listing every single value like this, it's possible to indicate that we want to define our word as eight duplications of zero. Okay, so this and this will result in exactly the same version of uh, of storage uh, and the values with which it is initialized but here perhaps this is a preferred method rather than you know imagine if you have 2000 of these and then you can just say 2000 rather than keep typing them and i will also would like to clarify that uh, this uh, um, memory allocation is equivalent so if we add this to our sample here now like i said nowadays i would replace dw with uh, word because it's less cryptic and then let's uh, use this so this is an equivalent of uh, uh, short int okay short int uh, values values like this array of eight values 
and of course we will initialize them to a zero so this is an equivalent uh, of um, uh, C uh, array initialized with zero so remember in C um, if you have an array of certain size like we have right here um, and you provide the initial value uh, on your initializer list the rest of the elements the rest of the the rest of the elements like seven elements uh, beyond the first one uh, will be initialized with zeros so sometimes people write it like this just empty um, um, empty initializer list to, to, to guarantee that every element in, is initialized to zero. I prefer this style because it's sort of like, you know, more, more visible, gives the zero a little bit more visibility, but all the rest of the elements are also initialized with zeros. And also short int can be just uh, written like this, just short. Okay, it's short means short int but you don't have to say short int. Uh, if you say short, uh, short means a 16-bit. And on most uh, computers, short will give you a 16-bit um, integer. In um, x86, it's word or this dw, define word. 